Hi guys, what we have here, it is the rg 35 X handheld game console. Mini size, compact size, portable handheld game console. And this is the transparent purple. And here it is the transparent white. So um, we will show you how are we going to add games into this handheld game console for different emulators to play. Because you may not see the uh, games which you wanted to play pre-installed. So we will show you how we're going to add games we wanted to play with this small handheld game console. First of all, we're going to turn off the game console. We will come to settings and come down to suck down and select yes. And after that, you will check the right side of the handheld game console. As you see, it comes with two TF card slots slot 1 and slot 2. Normally, the TF card from slot 1 which it has pre-installed the gaming system files and it supports to add game ROM files into this TF card as well because it comes with the folders for different emulators as well inside this TF card which means you can just put the game ROM files into different folders for different emulators specifically. And it comes with a TF card slot 2, which is designed for the expanded TF card. And it supports to add games or game room files into this TF card as well, which it has the uh, folders for different kinds of emulators for adding games. And this TF card, it has no system files pre-installed. So there's no need to worry any uh, mistakenly operation will, will damage the system files. And after that, you will need to get yourself a TF card reader like this ready and connect the TF card with the TF card reader. And after that, we will connect this one with the PC or laptop. And then we will show you how we're going to operate to add games into the TF card on PC or laptop. And now we're going to connect the TF card reader with the laptop. And you will need to make sure and confirm if the PC or laptop you're using to add games, it should be Win 10 system. Otherwise, the partition will not show for adding games. And once you see this pop up, and you will just click cancel. And after that, you will just open the folder. And you will see from the left side, there's two partitions from this TF card. The first one is MISC. This is for the uh, gaming system files. There's no need to do anything from this partition. And the second partition is ROMS. And this partition is for those folders of emulators. As you can see from here, SMS, SFC, PS1, MD, Marmy, GBC, GBA, GBFC. So if we want to add games into these folders, you will just double click the folders and you will see those games have already added into these folders. So um, we will download the game room files or game, uh, game rooms from website like this. And then we will select all of it and copy. And then we'll go back to the partition realms and we'll double click FC folder. And then we we'll paste the game files here. As you see, those games has been added to here. And then we will go back and for example, we want to add PS1 game. This is Paxi Man for PS1. So we will just copy. And then we'll go back to the partition. And you will see PS1 folder. And then we we'll paste it here as well. Just wait to finish. Okay. Once you confirm the game has been added, then you can just go back and then we will inject the TF card from PC or laptop. Once you see save to remove the hardware, 
then you can just remove the TF card from the PCM laptop. And then we're going to put it back to the game console to see if the game is there or if the game is working. And now we're going to put this TF card back into the game console to see if the game is there. So we will put the TF card back into the game console for the slot 1 and the slot 2. And then we turn on the game console. If you see the indicator here on the top shows green, which means the game console has been turned on successfully. And then as we remember, it is the TF card slot 1 we add the games and then it is the PS1 game we have added to the TF car named Paxit Man right so we come down to see here Paxit Man the game which we added by ourselves so let's see if we can turn it on Yes, it's working.